going into Belize right now. I've been finished with Guatemala and I'm making my way into Belize. I do videos. <laughs> yeah, yeah, YouTube. Oh, no, I know. Philly right. down. Yeah, they, they believe you, man. They're going into Belize right now. Going by four, man. That's what's up, man. <laughs> to the Keys. That's right. The Keys. They're going to the Keys right now. San Pedro, baby. San Pedro. I see them there. I see y'all there tomorrow in San Pedro. I'll be right there, man. I'll be in San Pedro tomorrow. I got a whole crew of people over there right now waiting for me to go there. Changes, man. Uh -huh. I mean, although sometimes I think about it, but uh -huh. I've been in San Pedro 15 years already, but okay. that's what's up No, San Pedro, nice. Yeah. I actually have a tour company. I'm a tour operator. So. All right. Our name, what's the name? So Mundo people... Maya. Mundo Maya Jungle Tours. Mundo Maya Jungle Tours. That's what's up. That's cool. And what do you do? What kind of excursions do you do with them? We do everything, bro. We do snorkeling, diving, finding ruins, came to be separating. The whole, the whole thing. The whole shenanigans. <laughs> the whole shenanigans. <laughs> Welcome to Belize. We're going to Belize now. One time I tried to get Casales, that's the uh, Guatemalan money, and it was like a big mistake. Never again, never again will I get money at the border in Guatemala. Never, 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 never again. They cheated me out like 60, 80 bucks. It was ridiculous. It's uncalled for. So now we're going to get this COVID check, and that's the bus I'm on right there. Now I'm confused where I gotta go now. I gotta go to that anyway. Okay, we're going now? Okay. Gracias. That's the immigration right here. Some people that was on the bus with me. I took care of immigration. I gotta get on that purple bus right up there, you see it. It says Crystal Ball Cologne, but it's the Tika Bus. Somebody told me that they merged Crystal Ball and Tika Bus is merged. I'm not 100% sure about that yet, because that when I get off the bus, you'll see I'll go to, when I get off the bus in Guatemala City, it'll be the um, Tika Bus station. So somebody said they merged. I'm not 100% sure, but usually the bus is red, white, and blue, like the American flag. That's the color of their buses, but this is Crystal Ball Cologne. So, it's gonna drop me to the Tika bus. 
station. The Tika bus runs through all through, uh, it runs through all through um, Central America, every country. I'm okay right now, I'm okay right now. You need taxi? Yeah, but not right now. Not I gotta right now. Yeah, I gotta do something first. Okay. But later, you, you gonna be here? Yes, sir, where you going after? Uh, I'm going to FD, it's another bus station I gotta go to. Another okay. bus station. Cause okay. I gotta go to Belize. I gotta go to Belize. Ah, to Belize. Yes. Puente del Norte. Yeah. Yep. That's it. That's where Puente I gotta go. Puente del Norte. Yeah. I'm going okay. a little bit, but I, I work online. I gotta do something on the computer, and then after that, I'll make my way. We have in, uh, I mean Wi-Fi here. Okay. You need Wi-Fi? Yeah, I need Wi-Fi. That the password is TurboNet six zero four. Uh huh. Thank you. And the password is DF three F six. Okay. Thank you so much. Um, gonna make my way to this other bus station, but this is, uh, let me see if I can show you something. This is, oh, here we go, right here. This is the bus, this is Tika bus. That's what I was telling you before. Tika bus, this is what you want to catch. If you move it through um, Central America. So right now I got to take care of some stuff and then I'm going to jump on the bus really soon. So the company, Tika bus, they have drivers. That's why you've seen the driver asked me if I need a ride. Now he's giving me a ride. I had to take care of some stuff, but now we're finally leaving. So now he's gonna give me a ride to, uh, what's the name of the other bus? The, um, Quinta del Norte. Quinta del Norte. Oh, man. So it's like an Uber service. <laughs> No, I am not Uber. He's not Uber. Uber. He's just a driver. Yeah. So we on our way, man. We on our way. <laughs> we on our way. So what zone? What zone or what? What zone? Or, what zone is it? Because when you're going to Belize, I left that out. When you're going to Belize, the Tika bus, that's the only country that the Tika bus, that's the only country in Central America that the Tika bus does not go into. It goes into every other country in Central America and it also goes into Mexico. No, no gracias. gracias. Oh yeah, they never say no gracias. Somebody told me they to say gracias. So now I'm in Guatemala downtown. I figured I'll walk around a little bit for you guys so I can see what's going on. So, I mean, I'm tempted to eat some fried chicken, but I see the fruit. So I might end up just getting the fruit. To be on the health tip still. You know, I slip every now and then, but I'm trying. I'm really trying. Stand remind me like the stands in Mexico right here. So my bus leaves at 5 p.m. So I got a little bit of time, and that's a 12-hour push. So the other bus that I was on, the Tika bus, was five-hour push, real comfortable, laid-back type bus. And the ticket, you're actually not gonna believe this. It's the same price as the bus I took from El Salvador. But the bus I took in El Salvador, it's a real like laid-back, classy type bus. That's like top of the line. A lot of people here in um, these countries, Central America, third world countries, whatever you want to call them, they have um, they take their bus system very serious. So their bus is like their bus system, their travel bus system is like equivalent to us taking a. Uh, a, a, a flight a lot of people move around the country like that or other countries like that on the bus so the bus system is really up to par it's a 
police officer right there. Well, you in Guatemala City, Guatemala. It has the biggest city. Guatemala City, Guatemala is the biggest city in Central America. If anybody, if you didn't know that, now you know. Oh, they got a Chinese restaurant ahead. I said, okay. Let's just see this right quick. Nice. It's called Plaza Barrios where I'm at. At least that's what that sign over there says. Plaza Barrios. It's like three, four bucks. It's really cheap. Let's see what they have. Uh, taking chances. Taking chances. So this is how the haircut look. He did an all right job. Wasn't nowhere near Philly Bar or anything like that, but he did an all right job. So now I'm gonna keep walking around. Right up the street, I see it going there. Wherever you go, McDonald's has to go Wi Fi. Yeah, I'm just passing through here, so. People think these countries don't have nothing, but they actually have buildings and everything. And like I said, this is the biggest, this is the biggest city in all of Central America. A lot of people don't know that. That's why I said it again. All right, here we are McDonald's. I'm gonna use their, like I said, I'm gonna use their wife. Uh, it's kind of packed up in here too. It's time, uh, it's time to go to go to Belize. Let me start. Time to make it to Belize. And now I got a 12 hour, 12 hour haul on the bus. Nothing going on, people getting off work and people everywhere. Well, they got some traffic out here in the largest city in Central America. I think I'll be resting up on that bus. 
Here you go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Almost got hit, man. I gotta pay attention, pay attention, Philly. These buses, this is one of your buses I'm getting on. I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. <laughs> That's the guy that helped me, man. He speaks English. Let me go get my swings real quick. Okay. Yeah, they the bus station is crowded and packed as you can see. Okay, I'm out here. Probably gotta see which bus is mine. I think it's that one right there. I'm going to the like I said before, everybody knows where I'm going to the Belize border. But I'll say it again. Got the mask on, that's why I said on my foot. Let me see if this is my bus. Yeah, so, let me ask the guy. Frontier Belize? Belize? Okay. Gracias. Move around here. This is the border, Guatemala Belize border. I had to put on my mask. <laughs> I had to get in the character. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, let me sit us. <laughs> Going into Belize right now. I've been finished with Guatemala and I'm making my way into Belize. <laughs> I do videos. <laughs> yeah, yeah, YouTube. Oh, yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, they, they Belize in there and they're going into Belize right now. Going by four, man. That's what's up, man. <laughs> to the Keys. That's right. The Keys, they're going to the Keys right now. Pedro, baby. San Pedro. I see them there. I see y'all there tomorrow in San Pedro. I'll be right there, man. I'll be in San Pedro tomorrow. I got a whole crew of people over there right now waiting for me to go there. Man, uh -huh. I mean, although sometimes I think about it, but uh -huh. I've been in San Pedro 15 years already. But okay, that's what's up. No, San Pedro, nice. Yeah, I actually have a tour company. There. I'm a tour operator. So. All right, our name. What's the name? So Mundo Maya, Mundo Maya Jungle Tours. Mundo Maya Jungle Tours. That's what's nice. up. That's cool. And what do you do? What kind of excursions do you do with them? We do everything, bro. We do snorkeling, diving, finding ruins, cave tubing, zip lining. The whole, the whole thing. The whole shenanigans. <laughs> whole shenanigans. <laughs> Thank you.
Louis Jeffries to be exact, man. My boy, Louis Jeffries from the channel. He gave me a piece of equipment that I'm using now. That's um, definitely helping the videos. I can see it right in that, right away, Jeff, what it did. You're rocking out with the one and only Philly Dime. You know we out here. We in Belize. Hanging out in Belize. I made my way to Belize. So we in Belize now. Let's walk around. Let's see what's going on. But shout out to my boy, Louis Jeffries, man. Appreciate you, champ. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. Let me see what they got over here. They got the chicken over here, barbecue. He said barbecue sheep. Hold on for a second. What's up, man? What'd you say? You said barbecue what? <laughs> okay. See the chicken here. Montero. All right. I'll be down later to get some. How much is the chicken? How much is it for a plate? Okay. How much is it for a plate? Well, we have we start from six. We have six, seven, eight, nine dollars. Okay, I'll be back later. Yeah. We do, yeah. Pork, we, do, uh, we do pork and we do sheep as well. Okay, sheep. Cause I see sheep right here. Yeah. But no. Sheep but you do chicken too, right? Yeah, we do chicken. All right. Pork and. I saw the sheep right here. I'm like, what? Yeah. Okay, I'll be back later. Right. I'm walking around. Take care. Let them know the name of your spot. My name is Carlos Montanero. Yeah, what's the name of the, the, the place? It's, um, it's, uh, it's known as uh, Montero's Barbecue. Montero's Bar Barbecue and Grill. Yeah. Okay, and the street right here is? It's Road. What's road? What is this? Pinkerville Road. Pinkerville Road? Yeah. Okay. All right, yeah. then. And we in um, San Ignacio. San Ignacio, up the hill. Okay, up the hill in San Ignacio. Yeah. Yes, yes. All right. No problem. Walking around, man, real streets of Belize, the global streets of Belize, as somebody told me on the channel. Yeah, so once again, you rocking out with the one and only Philly Dom. I was gonna take a taxi downtown, but I'm gonna walk around, let y'all see the vibes, the feeling. It feel good to be back on the road, man. It feel good to be back on the road, man. The Philly run is over. The Philly run is over. The Philly run is over. And we in San Ignacio is one of the southernmost cities. A town is a town, my, my fault. Gotta be correct. It's a town. Oh, they got avocados. Hold on for a second. Yes, indeed. Come back. Uh, you got avocados. Yes, they soft too, my brother. You got soft ones? Some that are soft? Some avocados that are soft. They're soft ones, soft, soft avocados. Can't help me out as much as you should. Do you have ones that are soft? Do you have avocados? Do you have some avocados that are soft? Let me see. Okay. All right, I'll be back. I'll be back for them. Thank you. You know I like avocado of the, the blood pressure situation so I'm big on eating avocados once again Louis Jeffries thank you man appreciate you champ appreciate you champ see you soon champ see you soon wow I can see the difference hey it got me some equipment I've been testing it, but I'm using it today. I tested before, but I'm actually using it today in a whole video. So this will be the first video I use it, and I tested it just to see how it was going to work out. But it's working out, working out to perfection right now. This is San Ignacio's in the Cairo district. So that's like being from Philadelphia. San Ignacio would be like Philadelphia and um, Pennsylvania will be the Cairo district. I'll make my way all over Belize once again like I did before. Some spots that I missed that I wanted to go to in Belize, I'm gonna definitely catch up and make sure I make it to them spots. Oh. 
just crossed into Belize too, maybe two hours ago from uh, Guatemala. They got these taxis here. If you see a taxi with a green license plate, they're their uh, taxis. They don't have, let's say like a taxi taxi, but they have these cars. It could be any type of car, which I could see. And they have a green, let's go down that way. It looks pretty nice going this way. Have a green license plate. Has a green license plate. That are actual taxis. There are actual taxis out here in, um, in Belize. So if you're in Belize, you need a taxi, look for the green license plate. Not the white license plates, but the green ones. This guy's running down the street. I don't know what's going on. He's getting his jog on. He's running in slow motion. Yes, brother. He's running in slow motion. My man was running in slow motion. It was funny. In a good way. Man, San Ignacio is a beautiful place, man. Taxi. I love it in these places, man, because it's like slow motion. Everything is chill, relaxed. It's in Philly, man. It's like a hustle and bustle. Everybody's stuck on a strict routine. Different vibe, man. Come to this place. Ah, you can breathe the fresh air. You can breathe fresh air here, man. It's just ah, totally different vibe, man. Totally different vibe. Ah, oh, man, I feel rejuvenated. Every know, everybody know I have a son here, so. That's why I'm in Belize a lot, so I should have opportunity to get to him very, very, very soon. I'm in the southern part of Belize. He's in, uh, he's in, uh, what's it, um, the, uh, Belize City area, which is about like four hours, two and a half, three hours. I don't know, man. Somebody got to correct me if I'm wrong. Maybe two to three hour drive. I always fall, fall asleep when I take the ride up there anyway. So more than likely, I'll be up there tomorrow in Belize City, more than likely. So shout out to my son D3. Keep marching down the hill. Some people say Belize is dangerous. It's dangerous like any other country in pockets and stuff like that. You know, they have they have their shootings, they have their drug dealers, they have their violence like any other place, but what place ain't safe? I'm coming from Philadelphia and they shooting people every day. So I know people want me to always talk about that. They always want to know the negative. So yeah, they do have violence down here and stuff like that. It's a small country, but they do have a lot of gunplay down here. But if you go to places like uh, Kikak or San Pedro, the tourist destinations, and you stay away from certain places. Good morning, how you doing? If you stay away from certain places, you don't have nothing to worry about. But like any other place. But what I mainly like about Belize, man, I like the vibes. They got like a Jamaican type vibe down here. You know, with their accents. I like the food. Fried Jacks. Something I like that they have down here that they eat. You can eat it with chicken, eggs. Um, they got Mayan food. They got Carifina food, which is the people of the black descent. They got, oh man, it's a cool vibe, man. They have so much different stuff. Belize is alright with me, man. I've been coming down here probably over, I don't know, gotta be like nine years, maybe ten years now. I gotta do the math on it. Yes, brother. I gotta do the math on it. It's been a while now. Man, I love how the 
the camera is ha handling with this new piece that Jeff gave me, man. Also, guys, please give my videos a like. Share my videos, man. Share my videos. Uh, come to all these different places to show you guys what's going on. Let me see about that. Is they avocados? Let's see. These are avocados. They avocados. They hard, man. Not soft yet. Okay. That's this. Well, thanks. <laughs> yeah, I'm looking for some soft avocados. So I can eat them. It's like slow motion, yo. And then, obviously, guys, you know I was just in um, El Salvador. El Salvador a little bit more faster pace than this. Belize is like real chill, like really just relax, slow motion. El Salvador is starting to pick up the ways of uh, Canada, the U.S., and England a little bit, but it's more fast paced. But because when I stay in El Salvador, I'm in the I don't know. I should go over that way. I'm in the city. I'm in the city in El Salvador, or San Salvador, to be exact. They, you know, like obviously they got other cities. I'm in San Salvador, so it's pretty. It's the, the largest city there, and it's you know pretty fast paced. Now I'm in like you know countryside town here, and um, it's called San Ignacio, and it's just like slow motion. Now Belize City is like fast paced, Belmont Pine, which is the capital. It's all right, but Belize City is like fast paced, man. But here it's just like laid back. And most of Belize is like this. Laid back, there's trash trucks. Yes, they have trash trucks in Belize. So people think like some of these countries don't have anything. But Marketplace gonna be crowded today. They have a um, two days and Saturdays. They have a market down here in San Ignacio. It'll be crowded. We're gonna check that out too, as well. Oh, we made it. We downtown. And yeah, definitely you'll hear a lot of um, dance hall, reggae. Jamaican music to be exact. So they so that like the strongest genre of music I hear down here is dancehall, reggae, some calypso, some soca. And obviously Afro Beats is making a big move and um and uh Latin music like reggaeton, dembo, with Dominican music, you'll hear a lot of that down here, but the strongest genre is uh Dance hall reggae is the strongest for sure. Definitely, without a doubt, the strongest genre. Not even like, I can't even guess. It's definitely the strongest genre. The marketplace is big today. Uh, Tuesdays and Saturdays is a big day for the market. So. Let's walk through the market for a minute. Since we here, I'll see what they selling up here in the market. Remember, I told you the green tags are taxis. Remember that when you come here, so you know.
Welcome to Belize. Welcome to Belize. They sell a little bit of everything here. Obviously, you see the fruit right in front of you. They sell clothes. They sell sunglasses. They sell a little bit of everything. Jewelry, as you can see. Get that glasses real quick. You know what Philly done, big up the seeds. And the money is two for one. It's two for one, so one. U.S. is two, it's two Belizean. So if you got 20 U.S., let's do the math, guys. That's 40 Belize. So your money doubles two to one here. Good morning. How you doing? Not really packed, packed, but I mean, there's enough people here. Let's go this way. Obviously they sell food here. Burning up out here. Woo! Woo! Burning up out here. Hold on. You hear Spanish spoken a lot. Gracias. Have to spray my hand. Walking all over the place. Burns. But it's early, so nobody's out really. I guess I'll go down this way. Early, early morning. It's early, so ain't nobody out, but I had to do the video, let y'all see what's going on in um, these real streets. How you doing, officer? It's not even 10 o'clock yet, wow. But this is the main street right here. This is like a nightlife street for them right here. Like I said, it's a small town, but this is the nightlife right here. This street, we'll be back later on this evening so you can see something different, but that's the main street, Burns Avenue. That bar I showed you was Burns, what do you call it? Burns Bar. Across the street, but uh, traffic is kind of crazy.
starts this Chinese store right here. A lot of Chinese own um, little shops and stuff here. But I need um. Toothpaste. Where's your toothpaste set? Toothpaste? Yeah. Right on the other side. Thank you. How you know what type of toothpaste Philly Dom get? Oh man. Body wash. This is what I'm using. Your boy Philly, this is what I'm using right here. Shampoo. I'm gonna get it to order in two. Uptown now, man. I was like downtown. I'm definitely going back up uptown right now. Get something to eat. Just chill out, man. Relax from that long trip out here from outside. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. And that's Burn Street. It'll be packed a little later. I'll be back out in a little bit. I'm out of here. Let me make my way uptown.